What's going on YouTube? It's the Postman. Um, doing a little something different, something I haven't done in a while. This is going to be a contest video response for one Z Angelique. Um, big, big time comic book collector. Um, just kind of recently really watching his videos. Uh, um, I like what he's doing. Um, he's, he's been around a little while. Um, but he has, does not have the number of subscribers I think he should. Um, so this, anyway, it's a 100 subscriber contest. Um, when he reaches 100 subs, he's going to do a random.org or just a randomization drawing uh, for a winner for his contest. Uh, he's at 91 subs right now. Um, the other day when he posted this video, he was at 80-something, so he's getting a few more subs. But... I really think he deserves, you know, way more than 100 subs. So I'm hoping that uh, you guys will help me out and uh, give him the last few subs that he needs to hit that 100 mark. Um, if you're interested at all in comic books and superheroes and uh, collecting and that type of thing, um, go check him out. Real easygoing, laid-back guy. Um, really has a passion for comic books, and that comes across in his videos. Um, so anyway, his link will be down below. Uh, go check him out. Um, anyway, to the contest um, rules. Basically, you got to do two to three minute video um, talking about your favorite Marv Wolfman, George Perez work. Um, Marv Wolf Wolfman is a writer of comic books, and George Perez is primarily an artist, but he does write as well. Um, now... This is my favorite here, uh, the Crisis on Infinite Earth series. Uh, but just real quick, my favorite Marv Wolfman um, writing would have to be on Tomb of Dracula. Hmm. Just want to clarify before I run off at the mouth. Okay. Yep. Okay. Marv Wolfman took over with the seventh issue of Tomb of Dracula. And uh, he created basically Blade, uh, which is the character that my YouTube handle is named after. So I was pretty sure that he was the creator of Blade, but I just wanted to check to make sure so I didn't sound like a dumbass. So uh, I did meet Marv Wolfman once at a convention in Florida where I used to live. And. Uh, he wasn't too pleasant, but uh, he did uh, sign a couple of things for me, which I, mm, yep, I do not have them anymore. He signed a copy of Blade uh, DVD for me and something else, comic book. But I do have a signed Tomb of Dracula comic uh, that he wrote. I think it's the seventh or eighth issue, actually. Um, but like I said, he wasn't too pleasant, but still, you know, he helped create Blade, so pretty awesome. And my favorite uh, George Perez book, um, the favorite thing, my favorite thing that he has worked on uh, is going to be this. Um, hasn't done a whole lot of work for Marvel, but he did do the JLA Avengers crossover. Uh, and I thought that was a great read. Really enjoyed that storyline and the art. Um, so, and uh, Kurt Busiek was the writer for that. But my favorite work of Wolfman and Perez is definitely Crisis on Infinite Earths. I remember picking this up as a kid, um, not knowing anything about it at the time, but just being, uh, once I started reading it and getting involved in it, um, you know, where main characters were dying. I mean, yeah, they were on different, 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 um, Earths, um, because they ended up, um, DC having multiple Earths, and that was a way that they could kill characters without getting fans in an uproar. Uh, but it's really well written, and, uh, Perez's art, oh, I did meet Perez a few times in Florida, uh, he's big on the convention, uh, uh, convention circuit, um, so I had him autograph a lot of stuff for me uh, when I lived in Florida. So he's a really, really nice guy. Never have um, 
a negative thing to say about George Perez. Just a great guy. Uh, but this is my favorite work involving both of them. Um, it was just as a kid um, growing up in high school and, and you know reading comic books all my life. It was just uh, just absolutely crazy that you know the characters were dying and and everything and um, it just blew me away. Just a great story, um, great art. As everything a comic book should have. So that's it. I um, hope this is good for your contest, my friend. Um, keep up the good work with your videos. Uh, hopefully I can bring you a few more subs with this video response. And uh, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Later.